locate a roof panel. The wide end of the roof panel has a downward oriented flange with an oval bolt hole in the center. The right side of the panel has an upward oriented flange and the left side has a bent channel with an open side facing down. Set the first roof panel on top of the enclosure immediately over one arm of the roof rafter so the narrow end of the roof panel sets on top of the underside support plate and the oval bolt hole on the flange of the wide end of the roof panel is lined up with the threaded insert at the top of the cage panel. Thread a 5 8 inch long screw into the threaded insert through the oval bolt hole in the roof panel, but do not tighten the screw. Lift the next roof panel into place so that the raised channel on the left side of the roof panel sets over the vertical flange on the right side of the roof panel that is already in place. The tips of the two roof panels should be even with each other and resting on top of the underside support plate. The oval bolt hole in the flange on the wide end of the second roof panel should line up with the threaded insert at the top of the side panel. If the holes do not line up, adjust the position of the side panels so that the roof panel sits in the correct position. Thread a 5 8 inch long screw into the threaded insert through the oval bolt hole in the roof panel, but do not tighten the screw. Repeat the process of installing roof panels until there is only one roof panel left to install. Locate the roof cap and insert the 5 inch carriage bolt through the hole in the center from the convex side of the cap. Lift the roof cap and carriage bolt through the gap in the incomplete roof and insert the carriage bolt down through the space between the roof panel tips, the center of the underside support plate and the bolt hole in the center of the roof rafter center bracket. Thread the nut onto the end of the carriage bolt but do not tighten it. Install the last roof panel by carefully tilting the right side vertical flange under the left side channel in the roof panel on the right, carefully sliding the panel up so that the narrow tip rests between the underside support plate and the roof cap, and then lower the channel on the left side of the roof panel onto the vertical flange of the roof panel on the left. Seat the panel so the oval bolt hole lines up with the threaded insert on the outside of the side panel. Insert a 5 8 inch long screw, but do not tighten it completely.